We are eating plain pretzels and chips. It tastes good. I've been doing 19 hours of intermittent fasting. And That's awesome. Yeah. And you were not hungry? No, you get used to it. 19 hours. Okay, I just do a 16 hours. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it varies. Sometimes it's like 16, sometimes it's like 19. Yeah. Sometimes it's even more, but I, usually it's like 16 to 19. Yeah, good, good restroom experiences. So yeah, yesterday I went to Universal Studios. Ray was at work. I just went with the kids and I got sick again. I ate a really good breakfast and around 12 we went to Universal Studios. It took us like one and a half hours and when we arrived we went on one ride and then after the ride I ate a pretzel and some chips. I could have chosen fruits or vegetables. They actually offered fruits and vegetables, but I wanted to eat this pretzel. We went on this Universal Studio tour. The classic right, tour, the original classic tour. And it took us 75 minutes to go on the train. You were saying that it was like short six eggs, right? Yes. <laughs> and after the 75 minutes, <laughs> after the 75 minutes, it's a lot of I felt so sick. It was torture. It was literally torture. And then the so ride... We're, we're just not used to the cold out here. Yeah, it was colder. So I was shivering. So the ride was an hour. And it was very cold on this train. And it gets wet too. It was cold and wet. Yeah, like the jaw scene. Since you've lost weight because I've of lost those, more weight. You, don't, you have very little body fat. I don't have as much body fat anymore. Yeah. And no Less insulation. After the wonderful ride, and it's a really fun ride, I couldn't completely enjoy it because I didn't feel good. And after the ride, I had to tell my kids, I'm so sorry, we have to go home. Right. I'm not saying in any way right now I want to go back and eat meat and dairy products. I would never eat meat and dairy products again. But I definitely got the message again, I need to eat. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and to be clear, when we say we need to eat, is not the vegan junk, right? Not the vegan junk. We, you need to eat nutritious food so you get the, the, uh, the you know, nutrition that your body needs. So, I hope I learned from it. Yeah. And you have to eat enough. You know? I have to eat enough. You know, uh, we all have to eat enough. And especially with intermittent fasting, during that window, you have to really make your calories count, right? You have to eat a lot, That's eat a lot of nutritious stuff, right? I mean, you can even eat some vegan junk, but that shouldn't be the main thing because that stuff's gonna, you know, later on in the day, you're gonna run out of, you know, energy. The really interesting thing is, right? And it's it's actually ironic, right? The in, in the irony of this is that before we were concerned about overeating, right? But now with intermittent fasting and being vegan, right? Eating plant-based foods, right? We have to worry about eating enough, right? That's right. You know, get all the signals of hunger and, you know, lack of, uh, you know, energy and, and um, you know, you just have to eat more. The lack of energy, this is actually, mm -hmm. to me, it's kind of scary. It's yeah. like the weakness. Even with drinking, right? Even drinking enough uh, fluids. Because sometimes it could fluids. be dehydration. But then if you eat a lot of junky, you know, foods that doesn't have a lot of nutrition in it, right? That's right. Then you can still have this, right? And we can see that. Oh, or also because of our intermittent fasting, if you don't eat enough during that period, you know, then later on in the day, you're going to feel lack of energy, right? Right. So that's part of it too. So really make those calories count. We really put a lot of thought into the character and personality. He's so much more than a monster. Thank you. Mostly as a backdrop area, it's also a really nice sound barrier because just up the hill beyond this page, through our little Europe area today, a few of you may actually recognize the set that we're driving through because it is still all dressed up for the show, The Good Place. The microphone volume down just a bit. There we go. Uh, so, they are filming an episode of Home and Family off to the left hand side. This is on the Hallmark Channel with co host Mark Steines and Debbie Montanopoulos. Fantastic show films out here Monday through Friday.
Uh, hey, George? George, you might want to swim back to your police boat, buddy. Open. No, that's a fact. Definitely a really good start. Oh, and he's not even in the game. He's 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 out there. You know, they still have to deal with that bridge. But they've got a bigger problem here on the Universal Backlot. They live right next door to... Well, a bit of a psycho. Welcome everybody to the original Vigs Motel and the Psycho House. Oh. Oh, it looks like my friend Norman Bates is home today. Hey Norman. Hey buddy. Alright, looks a little distracted right now. Looks like he's getting ready for a road trip <laughs> or something. Oh, he's so romantic. Look at the way he's curious. Hey Norman. Wait, wait, ooh, what are you? Ooh, 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 you got a knife, huh? Um, okay Norman. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, good luck, car three. Car four. You got no chance. Oh no. Oh, no, Norman. Okay, Norman. Okay, all the time of now, the big one is the We sit again, we sit down to talk about the one we I thought, what if you send it to a gentleman and you write in a big room? Because it's just such a nice thing. Hey, Norman. And that is an actual Boeing 747 lock that I got specifically destroyed for this set. When they purchased that plane, it originally cost them right around $60,000, but then it cost them a family cost. Yeah, they really got them. And normally when a production comes out here and they alter one of our locations, normally they would have to change it back to the way they found it. Uh, this particular set though is kind of the exception to the, that rule, so uh, when they were done filming, we actually had a tram route, so I apologize for these I don't know which one that is. It's small. Or the large? Uh, the small. So we're going to get... Um, so that's a perfect size, right guys? 